In this video, we'll look at how to use Euclid's algorithm to find the greatest common factor of A and B as a linear combination of A and B. This is something that's very important in number theory. Now this video follows up on my previous video about Euclid's algorithm, and you should definitely watch that one first. So I've just kind of moved things around and color-coded them a bit, but basically in column A and B I have Euclid's algorithm as we did in the last video. And you can see the equation here is the absolute value of the difference between the two numbers in the previous row, and then B comes from the minimum of the two. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are trying to find a way to write 3 as a linear combination of 51 and 21 meaning we want 3 to be 51x plus 21y and we want to find the x and y that make that true. Now with numbers like 51 and 21 you might actually be able to play around and solve this equation, what we call a Diophantine equation, but with bigger numbers it's quite challenging. But what we're going to do is basically follow along with what we did to set up Euclid's algorithm. So here I have, um, with the color coding, here I'm coding what's in column A, 51, as a linear combination of 51 and 21. So our initial com condition here, 51, is just 1 times 51 plus 0 times 21. And similarly over here for 21. Okay, and then what I want to look at here, we want to basically follow what we did, and we'll, but we'll use a and b sorted into the coefficients as we have it here. Now you could actually do this probably in more efficient ways, but I think this way is very transparent and, um, and that's a good thing in math education by my standards. Okay, so what we did here, what we did here was to get this number 30 was we found the absolute value of the difference here. Now, we didn't want any negative numbers. We're obviously going to have a negative number here. We're not going to get 3 as a linear combination of these two without a negative number. So it's a little bit more complicated what we need to do here because we actually have to do two separate cases. So we're going to use the logic statement if. So if and here what we do is a logical test and so our test is going to be if a4 is greater than b4 and what we wanted to do in that case was subtract a minus b and in this case we'll have to do this separately for each coefficient so it's the coefficient of a minus the coefficient of b now, if our condition is false, we want to do the subtraction the other way around. So we want to do this. Ooh, no, we don't want to do that. We want to do this one minus that one. Okay. And we have to do this for every one. And I don't want to drag it because some of these need to change and some of them don't need to change and I actually think it'll be more complicated so exact same thing over here but with the y coefficient so you can see we have 30 in cell A and that tells us that that's 51 minus 21 okay now for cell B what we took was the minimum of these two. All right, so we can we can once again do the same test. So if a4 is greater than b4, then the minimum will be what was in b. Otherwise, it'll be what was in a. And now we do the same thing for the y's. Um, okay, and then we get that 21 is still equal to 0 times 51 plus 21. Um, now, before I drag these equations down, I want to just put something in here to check that what we've got is right. 
So what we want here is we want the linear combination of, and I'm going to do dollar sign D, dollar sign 2. I just copied these up over here times whatever's in this cell, which we'll want to change as we drag, plus dollar sign E dollar sign 2 times this. Alright, so that's our A and that's 51, which is right. And same thing for B, dollar sign G dollar sign 2 so what's in this cell plus dollar sign H dollar sign 2 times that cell. Okay. And drag these down. And these rows should match these. So this is really just a check. And let's drag everything down. And a couple of my columns are too narrow. That's what the number signs are. Okay, but you can see the first time that we get a 3, we have negative 2 and 5. So negative 2 times 51 is 102. 5 times 21 is 105. 105 minus 102. Yes, that is in fact um, 3, what we want. And you can see there's a whole bunch of other ways to do it that come up later on. We can do 5 times 51 minus 12 times 21, etc., etc. Um, okay, so let's let's try this with those huge numbers that we used the first time. 903,104, which doesn't fit. We'll make it bigger. And 57,460, which also doesn't fit. A lot of things aren't going to fit here. Hopefully I have a little bit of screen left. And let's see, we are going, we need to lower everything down a bit. A bit more. This is a lot easier to do when you're not making the screen small for the video. Okay, but here we have, here we have a 68 negative 248 times that first big number plus 3,941 times that second big number and we can actually check that that is 68 and here are those huge numbers so that is not a trivial thing to do and you can also at some point I will have this spreadsheet up on my website if you want to check it out too but that is how to do finding the coefficients of linear equations for the greatest common factor between A and B in Excel.